Chapter 15 This message came to me concerning Moab. In one night your cities of Ar and Kir will be destroyed. Your people in Dibon will mourn at their temples and shrines, weeping for the fate of Nebo and Mediba. They will shave their heads in sorrow and cut off their beards. They will wear sackcloth as they wander the streets. From every home will come the sound of weeping. The cries from the cities of Heshbon and Eliela will be heard far away, even in Jehaz. The bravest warriors of Moab will cry out in utter terror. My heart weeps for Moab. Its people flee to Zoar and Eglath, Shelishea. Weeping, they climb the road to Luchith. Their crying can be heard all along the road to Horonaim. Even the waters of Nimrim are dried up. The grassy banks are scorched and the tender plants are gone. The desperate refugees take only the possessions they can carry and flee across the ravine of willows. The whole land of Moab is a land of weeping from one end to the other, from Iglaim to Bir Ilim. The stream near Dibon runs red with blood, but I am still not finished with Dibon. Lions will hunt down the survivors, both those who try to run and those who remain behind. 